Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Python Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic, Python functions with default arguments. So first of all, what are functions in Python programming? So function is an indented block of code, which is used to perform some task in a program. So coming to some technical points of a, about a function, a function, it will divide a brick program into small modules and technically it is called as modular programming. So a function can be defined once in a program and it can be called any number of times, which means that reusability is the main advantage of functions. So function eliminates repetition of code in a program and saves wastage of memory. So functions are of two types. First one, predefined functions like printf, range, input, and user-defined functions, which are defined in a program as per the requirement in our application. So predefined functions are available in library modules and they come with Python software. So now coming to default arguments in a function. So default arguments are those arguments or parameters of a function with default values. So such values are given while defining a function. So for example, I'm defining some function with three parameters a b c and their initial default values are one two three and in the body of the function i'll perform a plus b plus c so whenever i'm calling a function with three arguments 10 20 30 it will give the result as 60. so whenever i'm calling a function with two parameters 10 20 so c is missing here c will be taken as three so 10 plus 20 plus 3 33 so whenever i pass only one parameter remaining two parameters are missing bc so for them 10 plus 2 plus 3 will be taken into consideration so whenever i call a function without any input parameters so here a b c all are taken as default values 1 plus 2 plus 3 so now coming to default arguments or parameters are taken into consideration whenever a function is called with less number of parameters or no parameters or zero parameters or arguments so let us try to demonstrate this with a small program python functions example 7 right so first take comments at the beginning of the program so let us take the same example definition of a function sum a b c default values are 1 2 3 so perform a plus b plus c okay so i'll put this as sum okay i'll take this as something like total so print sum as total okay right so let us execute till here all the cases one by one so first i'm taking here right sum 10 20 30 so 10 plus 20 plus 30 so the total or sum will be 60. so save the program come to the prompt where you have saved the program and run it so py python functions okay example 7 right so the answer is 60 10 plus 20 plus 30 next let us take sum 10 20 okay so 10 plus 2 plus c is missing so 10 plus 2 plus 3 so the answer is 33 next i'm passing only one input parameter 10 okay so here it will take 10 plus 2 plus 3 b c are missing which is 15 okay next i'm taking 
sum without any input parameters so all parameters are missing here it will take default values 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is 6 so whenever a function is called with no parameters or less number of parameters okay it will take the default values now we have some special cases here right so I'm taking sum a equal to 100 b equal to 200 c equals to 300 so here I'm mentioning the argument name or parameter name a b c 100 200 300 so the answer is 600 so these are special cases by passing the parameters using argument name okay so special cases using argument names second case here i'm taking here b 100 c 200 so what is missing a is missing so a will be taken as one so answer is one plus hundred plus two hundred answer is three not one a is missing b c are given now here we can give any order because we are specifying the argument name so c is 300 a is 100 so b is missing so 100 plus 2 plus 300 so the answer is 402 b will be taken as 2 so next c is missing b equal to 200 a equal to 300 so 300 plus 200 plus 3 phi not 3 so c is missing so c will be taken as 3 next now i can also pass a single parameter here directly c equal to 200 so a b are missing 1 plus 2 plus 200 so the answer is 203 next i'm taking here second case sum b of 300 so a b are missing 1 plus 300 plus 3 so the answer is 304 next last case so here b c are missing okay so 100 plus 2 plus 3 so the answer is 105 so this is how we are supposed to work with functions with default arguments so whenever a function is called with less number of parameters or zero parameters or whenever a particular parameter is missing or particular argument is missing then it will take the default values into consideration to work with or to use the function definition thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day